La grosse part dans la, dans la look en bas, c'est le, le vagin avec les trois bio, là. Ça dit quelque chose? Non, ça me dit rien. Hey, tu vas triper, man. Ah, vas-y, man. Tu vas en premier. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Freeride Quebec. Welcome to this week's episode. So, today we're basically at Mount Saint Anne with uh, my bro Alex and some friends. Uh, we're going to do a trail called uh, La Inuk. It's, um, it's a pretty technical trail. Um, the idea behind this video is that basically uh, this is our first ride of the day. Um, it was um, 10 in the AM, so first run. Um, usually we like to start with, you know, something easier like blue trail, black trail, you know, just something that you can manage your speed, not you know, too technical. But I don't know, this morning I wasn't in the right state of mind. I just decided to go with the boys and uh, go to that trail. And again, thanks for watching. If you love the content, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do appreciate it. good. Chaine de merde, enlève ta chaine! Whoop! So here we are in the second section of uh, the turkey. It's um it's basically a black trail. It's not too much technical, but still you need to have ah, some up, technical skills to <laughs> manage trip. La chaîne, c'est la chaîne. <rire> That section here is so fucking cool. I mean, you do have those little roots that you need to drop at the right time and make it flow through it. But you can see that I'm doing like small, small mistake. Not too much, but I don't choose a right line or usually I don't start with that one. Ah oui. What? basically in the last section of the torch that we're going to use today. It's, um, I'll say it's the most technical, not because of the roots and the rocks and stuff, but because it's, um, it's a fast-paced section and there's a lot of roots, and to be able to, to navigate through those lines, you need to have your suspension, like, dialed up, like, each click is, is very important. 
when you dial your right. suspension for that trail. Um, as you can see, all my three bros are with their DH bike, and I'm basically riding a 170 millimeter of travel Capra. I'm going to try to manage your speed and to get faster each time. It's the kind of trail that an angel bike. It's um, it's not the same feeling as a DH plush bike. It's cool to navigate that trail with an angel bike, but it's starting to be a little bit small. So as some of you might know, I just bought the 29er, and um, for those who don't, you'll see what it is pretty soon. So. Yeah, man. Ah, c'est ça qui est lousse, ma roue. Je trouvais qu'il y avait de quoi en arrière. Ah, c'est pour ça qu'on va pas mal. Qui c'est qui a serré ça? Ah oui, c'est moi. Quel calvaire, matin. So this is the first part of the inner one. So it's a double black. So you can see here that the trail is it's more narrow than what we just did. So it brings us to a big rock feature, like my my friend told us. Ah, oui, j'ai déjà fait ça, ben oui. Écoute, je suis encore debout, ça compte pas. Au secours! Je suis pris dans mon drapeau en pouce! Je l'ai laissé pris dans la manette! Oh. I just, I oh. know, slapped my pedal on the left and I had a small douchebag oh, crash. Yeah. It was kind of hard to get back on the wheels on the feature, so I just decided to just walk it. Why did you Then my bro Alex, yeah. so with the DH bike, no problem Merci. at all. Mm. Gosh, I'm drunk. <laughs> ah. Yes. Why should I do that? Oh, I do that. I'll go back, for example. Me, why? I just had like my most stupid crash ever. So at this point, I had two crash, like very small one. Like, very stupid crash, not like going over the handlebar or something, but I should have taken that more seriously and just say, dude, it's not hey. it's not the right trail for you, like just walk it or something. But I kept on going without like taking notice of it. And then this happened. So my front wheel just got stuck in a hole in the ground. Uh, usually it's not the kind of place I would crash. I mean, I'm not that great of a rider, but I know how to ride my bike and manage to the section. But like, as I said, it was like first one of the day and instead of doing a floor trail or something easier, we just got to the hard stuff. And I wasn't like very, <laughs> very awakened. Like I just had like one coffee and that's it. But I didn't take the time to stretch the body. I mean, you need to be in the right state of mind to do this trail. And that was um, that was a rookie mistake. I had like three crash in the same section. And at some point I should just have said like, dude, just get off your bike and just walk this, you're good. And then do a smaller one. And if you want to come back, we'll do it. But I didn't 
take notice of the signs that my body and my my mind was telling me and I just oh, kept on going shit. and I had this crash. Uh. So my point is that when you start a day, I mean it's possible to crash on your on your first uh. run. I mean just take it easy uh, on your first yeah. run and take the time to stretch the body, just be in the right state of mind before doing something very technical. I didn't have any fracture. Um, when I had my crash, I remember like having time to say like, fuck, I'm gonna break my arm and just boom, slam on the ground. And I was kind of happy to see that I didn't have any like major pain. Um, I knew something was wrong in my arm, but it was just swollen. It was painful for like a month after. The bone wasn't broken, but maybe part of it was like the shelf. I think the shelf is the term, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, I'm a Frenchy, so. That's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, after that run, I just went back to my car and then I missed something else. Um, my coil has a slacken out. And I was basically running like, with way less uh, sag than I did I needed. So at this point, I just said like, "Fuck the shit! I'm just doing blue trail." So thanks for watching. Take care of yourself, guys. And if you enjoy the content, you can subscribe and see you in the next episode of Free Ride Quebec. See you guys.